Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on evaluating trick values. We have two signs here to evaluate. The idea behind those large number of value you have to evaluate is basically you have to see how many times the angle goes around the circle until you get dizzy almost. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this fraction in a whole number. So it's 4 remainder of 1. So this one is really equal to, I'm rewriting this one, it's 4 pi plus remainder of 1, which is pi over 4. Okay, so 4 pi is an even number of a pi, so the angle goes around the circle twice. This really is equal to sine pi over 4. And this, as you know, is radical 2 over 2. Okay. Incidentally, there's a shortcut. If you have, let's see, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees, sine value is over here. You have 1, 2, and 3. Put a radical on it and divide it by 2. And for cosine value, it's just the opposite. You have 3, 2, 1. Put a radical on and divide it by 2. That's the shortcuts. Okay, math break. I have something funny to show you guys here. Hope you can see the picture. See the car in the swimming pool? Don't get your girlfriend mad. All right, back to math. We'll have another one to do. Sine of 15 pi over 2. We'll do the same similar trick here. 15 divided by 2 is 7. Remainder of 1. Now here we have an odd number. I'll show you how to handle this one. It's 7 pi plus pi over 2. Okay, actually there are two ways you can handle this one. One, you can draw the sine curve. Okay. This is an odd pi. So this is 1 pi. Another odd pi is over here. This is 2 pi. We'll put it here. This is even pi. Think of odd pi as oddball. So this is odd pi, this is odd pi. When you go over pi over 2, you end up with minus 1 here. Okay, Same thing here. So every time you go odd pi and then go pi over 2 over, it's minus 1. So that's one way you can see it's minus 1. Another way you can see this one is this. Back onto our circle going around. You have a 7 pi, so you're going around the circle. Okay, and then you're going to end up with pi here because it's odd number of pi. And then you go pi over 2, one more, you're going to end up on the y-axis, which is negative. Now write the coordinate for this one, which is 0, minus 1. The y value is always the sine value, you know, where versus this one is cosine value. So either way, you're going to get minus 1. All right, that's how we handle this kind of problems. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan, making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.